quick radar report. My name is Daniel Vallis and welcome to our channel. On March 18th, many are going to be looking for the sighting of the new moon. But as I was checking Stellarium today and different phases of the moon information, on the 18th at sunset, the moon is only going to be at 1.4%. So the likelihood of it being sighted on the 18th is very, very low and really unlikely. Most of the new moon sightings are done in the 2 to 3% range. That's normally the percentage when it's seen. So 1.4% is very unlikely that it will be sighted on the 18th, which of course by default means there's going to be an additional day in this final month of the Jubilee year. So again, on the 18th, it appears very unlikely that the new moon will be sighted on that date, which gives us an extra day. And so when we do look at the timeline, just keep that in mind, and I've already updated the timeline. Adding an extra day just because of the great unlikelihood that it will be sighted on that day, which will mean there is 30 days in this 12th month of the Jubilee year. So we are running out of time, but a delayed new moon sighting will of course mean Passover and all the other feast events are pushed back. All these pictures are pushed back. And so I updated the timeline. Here's a more close-up view. And of course this means an extra day in the Jubilee year if the sighting is delayed as well. So we're just going to continue to watch. We are at a high watch time here, right at the end of the Jubilee year. We also have the amazing pictures of a greater and more perfect tabernacle on the first day of the month. The pictures that we've been looking at that stitch across this divide right here, so much has been drawing us to this area right here. And of course the signs that we've seen that have told us our redemption draweth nigh. And so we've been studying the redemption pictures and they've been bringing us here. So we're going to keep going forward one day at a time and we'll keep you updated as we can. And some people may have the question, is there an extra leap month? Is there a 13th month in this year just because of the way the moon falls? No, the barley first fruits is shortly after Passover. And already the barley reports this year from over there in Israel indicate that the barley is right on track agriculturally. So you cannot add another month and expect the first fruits of the barley harvest to still be there. No, it won't work that way. The celestial clock must line up with the agricultural cycles. That means also for the feast to be done properly. Because God explicitly warns with these appointed feast days, which deal with the first fruits, none shall appear before me empty. Which means you need to give diligence to the celestial calendar you're using, which uses the sun and the moon to determine the days and the years. That calendar must line up and synchronize with the agricultural cycles. If it's not working in the real world, then you're using a broken calendar. You're calculating it wrong. So it doesn't matter what your calendar system says on paper, does it work in the real world? If you mess up the first appointed feast, you're going to mess up the other first fruit feast too as well, because your entire calendar will be off by one month. And the rabbinical calendar does this quite often. So this is one reason we know there isn't a leap month right now, because the barley is right on track agriculturally to be ready very soon, right in time for the wave offering. So again, there's multiple things that tell us we're at a time to be watching right now, right here at the end of the Jubilee year, with so many incredible pictures of a greater and more perfect tabernacle. So until next time, keep looking up and keep praying for one another and encouraging one another unto love and to good works as we look for our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. And let's love Him and let's serve Him first and highest above all else. Maranatha!